spool valves for your turbocharger. Let's talk about them. Uh, I'm Oscar from Elm Racing and time to look at our uh, spool valve setup for a twin scroll uh, T4 turbine housing turbocharger. So this is for a uh, turbine housing with uh, integrated wastegate. Um, in that case, yeah, we run, so this is a four inlet one. So we're running uh, this into all the exhaust gases into a single scroll. This gives you uh, basically half the AR size of the stated uh, AR on the uh, turbine housing. So it gives you an earlier boost. Then once you're up on boost, this um, turbo smart uh, 38 millimeter wastegate here functions just as a normal wastegate. So we open this up and that allows uh, utilize or starts utilizing uh, both, both uh, scrolls in the uh, twin scroll housing. So that will give you the uh, full AR size. And this uh, yeah, greatly widens your operating band on the turbocharger. And this is a completely factory turbocharger or <laughs> factory a turbo smart unit here. So uh, all factory internals, spare parts are readily available directly from turbo smart. The housing is slightly modified to be able to bolt on here, uh, but that's a really easy modification in case you need a spare unit. You can get a spare parts directly from a turbo smart. Um, so in case you have a you want to run a turbocharger that does not have a uh, integrated wastegate in the turbine housing then we also offer this uh, version uh, with uh, extra wastegate exit here to uh, cover basically all needs and these are good for uh, t4 twin scroll turbine housings uh, we would recommend these maybe up to around a thousand horsepower or so because the uh, wastegate here does not really uh, flow the same amount as this uh, flange opening but up to turbochargers around 800 horsepower that is not an issue because the uh, the actual turbine housing will already have a much smaller restriction than the flange here anyway so that's not an issue we're thinking around a thousand horsepower will be the sort of a uh, switch over where where you uh, might be uh, running into sort of uh, optimum sort of operating uh, sort of limits with this but yeah uh, so far with the uh, rallycross testing that has been done uh, very very high EGTs on rallycrossing of course with uh, launch control and uh, continuous anti-lag use and uh, really tight circuits so you're running uh, extremely high EGTs and with the uh, uh, anti-lag stuff a really large percentage of the time so so yeah very good test and we have had excellent durability with these uh, units on that so happy to uh, start offering these to uh, sort of uh, non-prototyping uh, customers now uh, let's take a quick look at the data we've got we've uh, gathered from that rally cross testing and what sort of uh, operating range uh, width you can expect let's take a look and let's jump over to the screen here to take a look at the actual data uh, so this is from uh, two separate uh, dyno pools on the rally cross car and this is utilizing our uh, spool valve type thing here so with all the exhaust gases going through one one gate or one uh, scroll here and with the uh, twin scroll open uh, utilizing the uh, both of the uh, scrolls on the uh, on the uh, turbine housing and you can see here at uh, low rpm we have very good response so with the opening the the uh, second scroll we lose of course back pressure and the uh, boost pressure starts dropping also immediately and at the high end here you can see this the second run was actually done uh, if we look over here with the uh, twin scroll gate completely closed the whole whole way through and even though we're at lower boost pressures we still have a worse pressure ratio so yeah shows that this in fact is not just uh, due to uh, the normal waste gate opening or something like that uh, similar over here but we actually do have an increase in in uh, overall uh, sort of performance from that uh, this was uh, done with the uh, Borg Warner EFR 7670-D turbo uh, with the uh, largest uh, housing they have available, so 1.05 T4 twin scroll. This is unfortunately without uh, integrated wastegate, so that is why we have this uh, billet uh, spool valve collector uh, with available with uh, external uh, wastegate exit. And yeah, this gives a 1.05, and with the uh, gate closed, that gives us a, a turbine AR of uh, 0.525. Then, so that's a very sort of wide, uh, wide range, and uh, helps with the turbo performance and uh, widening that sort of available uh, boost RPM. 
Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, Borg Warner does not provide a turbine housing maps. So let's take a look at a comparable turbocharger from a Garrett here. So a G30-660, for instance. Uh, this is actually available from them with a 1.06 uh, T4 twin scroll uh, housing with actually an integrated wastegate. And yeah, with a 1.06 AR, that would place the uh, turbine sort of flow amount or how much pressure you get for a given flow somewhere between this uh, black and uh, red line so yeah about around the sort of 30 i mean the units are horrible but i mean 30 units here something like that and yeah then when we uh how that with the uh, gate closed that gives us a uh, ar of about uh, 0.53 then if i'm not completely wrong uh that would put the put the uh, sort of pressure you get uh, for a given flow amount somewhere below this uh, 0.61 uh, green line here. So really, really much wider uh, operating range, as you can see here. Like this is a huge amount of uh, flow difference here. So going from something like 17.520 or something up to uh, 30, so much wider. Uh, range and if we look over on this value so analyzing this this would typically mean that with a, a equally sized turbocharger for instance to maintain the pressure ratio up at maximum rpm uh, here uh, with this uh, spool valve system that that we have available both uh, with with and without a uh, wastegate exit or traditional uh, wastegate exit uh, that will uh, result in around uh, 500 to 1000 rpm that you can build a boost earlier in the rev range so you can get a much wider sort of usable power band uh, out of your engine without having to sacrifice a sort of performance and this sort of associated yeah internal EGR and all kinds of issues that that brings with uh, just running a really large turbine section or, or turbine housing okay but that's it for the news for this. Uh, this is available right now uh, on our web shop. So stop by and uh, yeah, leave comments on the, on the video if you want to to ask questions or, or have some comments or anything like that on the situation. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.